Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? Today, I'm living by the credo size matters. And big is not always better. Big is most certainly not better when we're talking about the images that we post on our website or share with each other by email or some other online service. So compressing files, graphics, making them smaller is something that we should be doing more of. Today on Dotto Tech, we're gonna be taking a look at Tiny PNG, a free service that takes your big fat files and makes them wee little efficient files. This service is one of uh, Mike Stelzner of Social Media Examiner's absolute favorite services. He's always talking about tiny PNG whenever we're talking about our favorite online services. So I thought I should have a look. And I gotta say, they've done a pretty sweet job with tiny PNG. What it is, is it's a site that you can go to to quickly compress your graphic files. So you create your files in whatever tool you wanna create your graphics in. But then before, especially before you put them on your website, you can use this tool to make them a little bit smaller or a lot smaller, which means they're going to load more efficiently and more quickly on websites. You could also use it for sending email and all of uh, adding attachments to email and all of that sort of stuff. But primarily, this is an awesome tool for anybody creating websites and posting graphics to websites. And it is free straight out of the package. It, you can do up to 20 images, up to five megabytes each in a single batch. It'll batch process your files. And if we just take a quick view through their website, it works for both PNG and JPEG compression. And they've also got Photoshop plugins and, and plugins for WordPress, which will automate the process. But if you just wanna compress files really quickly and really efficiently, I gotta tell you, just coming to the website is pretty darn good. So I've created four files here. Uh, let's just, I'll just show you what they are. They're all based on the, the, uh, the graphic that we use for our um, for YouTube uh, for our YouTube channel here, so I've created a large JPEG and a small JPEG, a large PNG and a small PNG, and the, and the smaller ones are basically files which are half the physical size of the larger ones with a little bit more compression in Photoshop before I exported them. So let's just take these files, which range in size from 340k, 450 kilobit down to 32 kilobits, and let's just take them and let's drop them on top, and let Tiny PNG do its thing. And as you can see. It smokes through them and does a great job of compressing them. And then the panda bear gets all excited at the end saying, I've done it, I've done it. You can save it directly to Dropbox or download them, but it tells us right here how much compression and how much space we have saved. So in the large file, of course, with large files, we're gonna save more. We save 76 and 70%. On the small JPEG, which I already compressed into medium JPEG format in Photoshop before I saved it, there was no saving. It didn't make the file any smaller, but in the small PNG, it also made it quite a bit smaller. So as you can see, I saved an average of 70% on three out of the four files, which is a pretty darned impressive. Now, all you do to download them is to, and save them, let's just save the largest one here so you can see the difference because that's gone from 300k to, seven, to, to 90k. So let's download that and let's save it into the same folder as it's in right here on my desktop and let's have a look. I'm going to open them both up and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see here in YouTube uh, if you'll be able to see the quality difference but it might give you a good idea. Uh, at least I'll be able to tell you exactly what I, so it's, it, should I replace it? No, I don't want to replace it. So what I want to do is I want to save it as a different one. Large JPEG two. There we go. We'll save, change the name and we'll save it. There it is. So now we've got the original here and there we go. That's the original. And now let's take a look at the second one here. So as I look at it, I can see just barely just in the edges a little bit more pixelization uh, but looking at my face let's look at my face as I'm grimacing there I gotta say that for saving 70% of the size this graphic when loading on a website there's very little to choose between the two I think uh, tiny PNG definitely is is a tool t worth taking a look at. You can find them at tinypng.com. As I mentioned, they've also got a Photoshop filter that you can that you can uh, get from them and you can also get a WordPress plugin that you can put directly into your WordPress install so that it will automatically convert all of your graphics as you install and if you're doing lots of graphics that you need to compress, this is an idea. I don't think that this 
basically removes the responsibility of you saving your files in a smaller format as you're creating your files. I think that's always worthwhile. Uh, but it's an additional step that should make your website load and display all of the information a little bit snappier, which certainly makes visiting websites all that much more appealing. Tiny PNG, big thumbs up for them. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Secondly, subscribe to our newsletter. That way you hear about any upcoming courses, tutorials, and seminars that we might have online. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded channel supported by the generosity of you folks through the crowdfunding site at Patreon. I encourage you to drop our Patreon page, take a look, and discover the perks that we include with Dotto Tech. And those perks, they are some kind of awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.